alright. I'm alive. Barely. I am alive. I've just been doing a whole bunch of crap. Oh, fuck, it's 11.30. I'm late. And now it's late at night. Yay, public transport! So yeah, sorry to worry you. I am alive and uh, I haven't forgotten you, all the amountlings just been really busy. Now one of the things that I want to teach you all today is how to catch a spider that is uh, terrorizing your house. This morning I saw the biggest huntsman, maybe not that big, big huntsman in my bathroom. Now I don't like killing spiders. Harmless spiders I don't really have a problem with. Huntsmans won't hurt you. They might bite you and they might actually hurt you but you gotta really piss off a huntsman to make him bite you. Uh, other than that they're fine. So uh, I prefer to catch them and let them go outside. So, what you need to do, if there's a huntsman in your house and uh, you're a little bit on the brave side, like myself, because I'm, I'm tough and all that, uh, you need to get yourself a big jar. Big jar, big enough to, uh, to hold the huntsman. And you need to sort of shoo the huntsman, shoo him onto a nice flat sort of surface. Okay, so make sure he gets where it's nice and flat. And when he's reasonably at ease and he's not scurrying around the place, just gently, you don't have to do it fast, just gently place the jar over. And then get a piece of paper. Actually, get the piece of paper before you get the jar and do this, because then you'll be on the wall stuck. Then you get the piece of paper and you slide it between the wall and the opening of the jar. And from there, you can pick the jar up and uh, wait till he gets to the end of the jar and you can twist the lid on. And then you have a bottled spider with minimal shrieking and, uh, and no unnecessary death. Because you could come back as one of those and that could be your grandmother that you potentially spray with a can of mortine. So for those of you who are like me and are really lazy, it's tax time. Well, it's the end of your threshold for being lazy and putting your tax away to the last minute. So uh, next week I'll be definitely attacking my tax. You get to partake in the delight of seeing me stress out about my tax. Quite possibly in an Irish accent. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Wish me luck. Now, the winner of naming my bear unfortunately can't get my bear. That's, that's no, he's mine. But the winner can get a bear very much like it if not better. We might amount a bear up and you can have that bear. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, let, let's do that. If you name my bear, you get your own amount bear. Done. Deal. Loving the gallery. The gallery, awesome idea. You're a genius, but you know that already. So you've got this email here that you can email pictures to um, and questions and names of the bear. You've also got, don't forget, the amount at hotmail.com. So you've got two happening there, so if you're a little bit more inclined for one or the other, you, you've got a range of options, a plethora of choices. How exactly did you manage to take a camera around Target and film you trying on clothes? Did no one find that odd that you just went into the change rooms with a video camera? Surely they would have been watching to see if your arm went up instead of filming into the other cubicles. I would have tried it. I might not have viewed what I saw, but I would have tried it. No, I wouldn't have, but it's funny to say that. Now, I've sold my soul to the devil. Yes, you guessed it. I has a freaking iPod. Pirated up some, of course. I never thought I'd ever have anything with this hideous apple on it in my room ever. But here it is. I have the iPod and I have freaking iTunes on my PC. So you're slowly working your evil magic into my house. Anyway, uh, I must sleep because I still have work tomorrow and uh, day after that, etc. So I'll get back to you another time, and I promise it won't be so long this time. Catch you on the flip-flop, cause I can.